Hi, sorry for about two years of silence or how much it was, but anyway, I want to explore a bit more of uh, polymer chemistry. So here I have this metal metacrylate and let me explain. Basically, what I want to do is uh, hydrolyze this stuff to remove the methyl group, basically. So basically, I want to I want to do I want to do this. Uh, basically, basically remove this thing away, and I will attach some sodium ion there. So I can then acidify this thing and then form another bond uh, instead of methyl group with something else. Probably stuff will be flip around some, somehow, but anyway. So I have done this thing already and it is pretty simple. Um, we basically mix some metacrylate with some sodium hydroxide it at relatively low temperature because, because the thing is that this double bond is a little bit uh, ADHD, so you don't want it to polymerize and this complicates things a lot actually. So I think I was even successful at forming uh, this whole molecule, but I am not exactly sure about it. I think I think I was because it's not really nice. Anyway, so uh, let's get into the stuff. So first of all, I don't know how much I do have, so I was thinking about using this small this small flask, but maybe not. We'll see. Also, my camera broke, so I'm filming on my phone and so everything will be a little bit shaky and I will use strong hands probably. Yeah, that's a little bit too much, but we'll see. So I've got about 100 mils. Right, so I, I think I will use bigger flask because I was cleaning, cleaning up today, so well, I mean but I've got new things, so I am happy with, with that that I can do some cleaning here, and that's that's very nice. So yeah, I will use this probably. So let me do that. Very nice, and. Since we are doing this at low temperature, I will use this hot plate, which is a little bit experimental, but I have PID for motor. Yay! It, it's very good, actually. Alright, so here goes a bit water. It's probably more like... enough. So what, should, what I should have done probably is I should weigh the metacrylate and then calculate how much sodium hydroxide they will need. So for 100 grams of metacrylate. Well I will do that off screen but I will add just small amounts, some 10 grams of, or something like that and I will I will be adding it uh, periodically. I will add like, look how, my, I, look how much I will add. That's 35 grams. And now mix. And I lost the steer bar. Jesus. Okay, I will stir it by hand then. Now the thing is that you have to stir it quite violently and this is already quite warm from the hydroxide. It is very cold here, like that cold. So, and since this is uh, relatively hot and relatively stirring violently, 
I will attach some uh, condenser up here, not that it will work, but I will do it anyway. Okay, so condenser is attached. I'm not cooling this thing because it doesn't make any sense, I would say. And yeah, I'll leave it run for about an hour. You know what, I'm like five minutes in and I don't see any layers. And oops, this is still strongly alkaline. Well, it's quite... I don't think I lost a bunch in uh, during reflux, even though, yeah, the condenser is quite cold. And this is not very great, because why am I adding hydroxide since this is still alkaline as hell? Well, one will never know. Fuck. I think I'm screwing up a lot. Okay, let this uh, sit for a while in uh, cold and dark. And as you can see, the solution is a little bit milky in color. And I guess this would be normal. So, the thing to keep in mind is that. Um, the metacrylate will polymerize. I would think that it will polymerize even when it is sold. Uh, this way you probably get this uh, super absorption polymer stuff. It can uh, absorb a lot of water but still remains solid. Anyway, but the rate of polymer the rate of polymerization is determined mainly by the temperature. I guess like pressure and something like that maybe but uh, also which is significant its concentration and since this is dissolved it's maybe better to perform this reaction at hotter temperature but make sure it really quickly like hydrolyzes into its salt form so it is possibility i think there probably is some da data on this reaction, definitely there should be, but I have found none and so I made this whole thing pretty much up. And look at this thing, I also have DCM now, yay! Yeah, so having said that, uh, I'm going to extract any organics that are, that are in here and then metacrylic acid. So yeah, I should probably, uh, I can probably store this DCM in here. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Uh, I can already see some junk flying in there. And man, I have no, I have no idea how I, might, how I am going to film this because... Yeah, I have no idea. Let me... Ah! Do I have any stopper? I do. Should really make some nicer stand for this thing because this is awkward to work with. Okay, be prepared to open. Okay. Again, it's cold here, but. I think they will be done after one extraction. I have no patience. And uh, some metacrylate impurities won't, won't be any problematic for me, even though, yeah, maybe I'll do two extractions, but this is not going to, this is not working at all. This will take some time until I get layers. Well, it was like, what, 15 minutes? Anyway, I declare this to be junk. Alrighty. Now, I'll have to think about how am 
I'm going to acidify the thing. Oh boy, oh boy. That's very easy to operate. It wasn't like this. Because there will be probably some boiling action from the DCM, but nobody cares, I guess. I'll discard this. And here goes the sodium metacrylate. Yeah, look at look at how how jelly it is. If you can if you can even see, it's really. Okay, so I'm acidifying the sodium metacrylate and sodium hydroxide. As you can see, it generates a little bit of smoke when I pour it in, but this is mainly from, from the well, from the hydrochloric acid uh, films, and I'm checking pH. But let me. Oh man. Anyway, let's check pH. Still alkaline. So when the pH will get to acidic level, the metacrylate should pop up from the solution. You can see that the color has changed quite drastically and there is some white stuff. While I add the hydrochloric acid that's what we want, and we want probably quite acidic solution. Okay, now it's neutral. Now it's probably quite acidic. Well, there's not much space here, but... Oh, it can get more. Yeah, and I already can smell it. Fucking uh, heating. I can smell it. They said they say it has acrid odor. I'm not sure what acrid means, but this smells like acetic acid. Like, like nearly exactly like acetic acid. Okay, another like 25 ml of HCl. Like a little lot. Now it's acidic. Okay, so that should be enough. But I will add a little bit more just to be safe. For reasons. And I'm. Acid, acid, acid. I need to extract. Huh, I need to extract this, but. It is quite warm. Uh, hopefully, that won't be any problem. And you can see layers start to form. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I will be, I will be, I don't think I will bother with, with DCM extraction. This is nice. This is just nice. Okay, so off into separatory funnel it goes. Okay, so this is aqueous fraction, so let me, let me, uh... Get it out. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> well, this did not work as expected. Uh, okay, but in this container it goes. Let's continue. Uh, 
I need just a rough measurement and only for a reference, so this is really good enough. Okay, so now I need to dry this, as you can see it's cloudy as hell, so... <laughs> Let's drop in stir bar and then add some magnesium sulfate. Alrighty. That should be enough. It was probably wet. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Crystal clear. Okay, so I use one half of cannibalized uh, Q-tip just to make a filter. God damn, this is. And let's pour this in. There's not much left, but God, no, it won't. Let me go to the dungeon. <sighs> I'm not sure if the last portion is or was recorded. Oh, it crystallizes even here. Well, basically I poured it into the flask and it immediately started to crystallize on the wall, but I spilled some on the outside, so I had to wash it in hot water and it immediately was liquid again. So yeah, this is the stuff. It should crystallize at about 7 degrees Celsius, so... If I leave it here, it probably will crystallize tomorrow, but do I need or do I want it to crystallize? Not really, so yeah.